Yeah, once more, strong running, excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. On first down, here's Breda. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. With the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. On third down, a run from Brita. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop them a couple of yards short. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. takes this one down to the 15. Remember, that was fourth and a full two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right, because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? You just go quarterback sneak. But having to move bodies, that means you actually have to execute because they know what you're going to do. How are you going to make the right play call and get everyone into the right spot and win at the line of scrimmage? That's what they did there. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Now a give to Breda. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Try to run this one in. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Matt Breida as the first half is winding down. And the Bills are on the board here in the final seconds of the first half. So a late touchdown here just before the half, and that obviously changes the dynamic of this game. Yeah, in a couple of ways, Parker, because they've been shut out up until this point. So now at least they go into the locker room and Uncle Mo may be creeping over to their side to talk to him a little bit. And second, they're right back in the football game. An extra point away from tying things up. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied here in the second quarter. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This is D.J. Reed returning. Well, now how about this return? And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. And he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. It's Wilson on the move to his left. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. 
first half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawks defense. The sack there by Rasheem Green. On the handoff, this is Breeden. And a short pickup there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard game. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. And he'll be out right at the 35. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Coming up on second and seven. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Breda. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. 52 yards on the ground for him so far. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But with the strong safety position end up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. Here's second and nine. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Out to his left. Check 24, check 24. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. here, second and 11. Here's Breda. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. On a second and long. It's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. And he will 
will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. They've got a first down in field goal range already. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now... In this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead, so how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about it if you're confident in your kicker. And if you've got a kicker who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. In an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeros. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. Singletary, they'll run for it. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. They'll look to run with Singletary. And he's in for the touchdown. And in the final seconds, forget overtime. They've just likely won this thing in regulation. Well, any thoughts about overtime have ended at this juncture. That touchdown puts them up six. I would imagine they'll kick the extra point now and rely on their defense. Yeah, rely on their defense. So a little bit of time left on the clock here in the fourth, but they got to feel good now. And they'll try and run it in with Singletary. And he is into the end zone. The conversion attempt is good. And that'll give him an eight-point lead here in the fourth. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Here's Reed. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, you've got to worry on defense. Of course, no one getting behind the defense and make it an easy throw. But nowadays, it's not just the ball being tipped in the air and people in the end zone in a cluster. It's that guy that's short of the end zone who comes up and ends up making the play because he goes unguarded. So there's a lot to think about if you're playing defense in this city. Well, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills have just about sewn up this football game. Well, this game has not been short on intrigue, but that's the backbreaker right there, and it's going to put any hope of victory to bed. Yeah, they knew they needed the touchdown, and when you have that little time remaining, they know they've got no choice except to go for broke, and that they did. But the interception, that means defeat. Now Allen. 
He'll rifle this one deep right side. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Sidney Jones. And the Seahawks are right back in this football game. Well, going into the final.